questions to ask for a campaign with the confidence rising. I told WDF don't switch, good times are coming on EFD diving. Fan cams, reactions, watch along, still the pride of London thriving. The Eagles of South they flying, keep your eyes on us, we ain't hiding. Eagle Eye Football here with the, uh, the chairman on the way at Nottingham Forest. Um, we're at Watford Gap Services. But it's been a nice day. I don't know what, how the game's going to go today. But um, could do with the three points would be great. I'd be happy with a draw. But now they've had their points deduction, I think it's going to be. Uh, well, the atmosphere is going to be incredible there. But we just hope we've got to stand up to it and play well. But uh, let's see how it goes. Up the palace. Eating our food delivery with the Big Mac meal, as you can see, it's catastrophic, it's all over the place, there's bits falling out everywhere, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, it's okay. I've done some more sorting out, I've sorted out, and no gherkins, but yeah, I'll give it an 8 out of 10, so good. And lots of dips as well. Right, Outside the body twist. We're Paul from the pub. Still in the pub. Still in the pub. How do you think the game's going to go today? I think we're going to do rather well today. Well, I'm hoping so because I've got two pints. <laughs> there you go. Two nil to Palace. Yeah. Let's hope so. But if not, I'm happy for a point. <laughs> and the woman behind the bar comes from Kent as well. How about yeah, that? How, about how ridiculous that? is that? Yeah. But we're all happy for a point and we're outside the pub. Come on, you Palace. Come on, Palace. Oh. Walking across the bridge now to the city ground, Nottingham. Uh, team news is out, but I haven't got another phone. But as far as I can work out, it's unchanged uh, from the last game with a few more kids on the bench. Just want to know how much, how long is Mateta going to last? Because soon he can't run for more than 60 minutes and there's nobody else. So there you go. Anyway. But at least Mr. Nightingale's come out of the pub he's come to go the to the game. He's drunk all the drink. There's no more beer left in the pub. <laughs> Half time, city ground, Forest Mill, Palace 1. Um, interesting half, I mean, we've had two shots, they've had a few shots, but really not troubled the keeper. Um, I think they're bossing midfield. I mean, we are giving the ball away so cheaply, especially going forward. Um, Eze is running well with the ball, but when he's you know, putting the passes off, they're just. You know, they're too hard, too soft. Had loads of corners, all pretty much overhit. Every single wire but one of them. But we should have been tuning up. Um, as they was put clean through. And he shot it straight at the keeper. The ball rebounded to, to uh, Mateo, who just had to put a sensible ball back across the box. As they was free. He's, he is overhit it so much. They virtually went out for a throw-in. But, you know, I'm happy we're doing okay. We are doing a lot of defending, mind you. But... The keeper is doing okay, he's had one punch away, but not had to make a save yet. We're, we know, we're blocking, we're, we're blocking, we're getting our bodies on the line, which is great. We are doing a lot of running, I just hope our fitness is better than, uh, than the um, before the break. So, we're out and see, but it's a good solid half anyway, we're winding up. Let's hope we can push on now and try and get, get the three points, that'd be a fantastic result, really would be. Anyway, coming up the Palace.
Well, game's finished. Forest won, Palace won. Um, probably a fair result in the end. But, uh, you know, it's a bit disappointing when you've been leading for so long. But, you know, once again, we, we look like we're struggling because of lack of depth in the squad when players are obviously <coughs> completely knackered, like JP was at the end, but there's no one to replace him. But we were, we, you know, without having too much possession, but we scored a goal. We had a one and one with the keeper hands in the first half and hit the post from a corner, believe it or not, in the second half. But at the end of the day, it's a, it's a point away from home. That's always a good point. Um, but I think Forrest probably deserved a point out of the game. We just didn't do enough really to win the game. You know, it's a shame if it is because we've always got to score two goals to win a game. And at some point, you can't do that. Just got to learn to keep a clean sheet. I mean, everyone had a good game. Um, Walton was quite quiet again. IU was got subbed in the end. It was pretty ineffectual. I thought Munoz kept um, Callum Hudson and Doyle very, very quiet for most of the game. And he's, he'll probably be a man of the match. But I especially mentioned that Henderson and thought had a really good game in goal. Nothing could do about the goal. Just poor marking again when Chris Wood is standing in the middle of the goal with nobody on him. It's just ridiculous. But what can he do? The joys of supporting the Palace, eh? But anyway, onwards and upwards, up to 30 points now, so excellent.